Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing tourism in Thailand. Specifically, we're discussing the fact that Thailand has signed on to agreements regarding tourism and, tour and the protection of tourists. I found this article, or I thought of making this video after I found this article on ASEAN Now. It's ASEANNow.com. Article is titled, Thai tourist police explain their role as the country commits to the protection and welfare of tourists. Quoting directly, INN revealed that Thailand is now a signatory to the International Code for the Protection of Tourists, ICPT, and has been promoted by the World Tourism Council. Quoting further, they have promised to work towards ensuring the safety of all tourists and building tourism confidence. So, yeah, I'd never even heard of this thing before I, I read that. Uh, currently, I'm doing a little bit of research to figure out a little bit more on it, see what exactly this means. You know, there are those that could say, well, it's kind of a fluff piece. They, they basically, you know, they went ahead and signed a document that's, you know, a, a, a sort of a document that's promulgated by an international organization, and it doesn't have any real impact on the law. Maybe, maybe not. I doubt it has any fundamental impact on jurisprudence in Thailand, but I think what it does evidence is the fact that Thailand is very, very keen on getting tourists back, you know, that, as noted in other videos, you know, depending on the numbers you look at, it's either 18 or 20 percent of total GDP comes from tourism, and I would even argue that number may be higher when you look at sort of the knock-on money that, you know, foreign direct investment, whatever you want to look at that comes into Thailand that may, you may not be able to directly see as a corollary to tourism, but it comes along later as a result of somebody being a tourist in Thailand. So again, hard to quantify, but took a major hit the last two and a half years. And so, yeah, I think this is just evidence that Thailand is definitely open to welcoming tourists back as soon as possible.